Hey everybody, this is Bill Cladis, and thanks for watching 3dmotive.com. Today we're going to start with our first volume in our new series entitled Advanced Materials in UDK. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at some of the really cool things we're going to learn how to make. In the first part, we're going to talk about instance materials or parent materials. And in this example, we have two cubes here with what seems to be two different materials applied to them. However, it's actually the same material in which we open up parameters and we can control different things like textures for our diffuse, normal map, and spec map. For our next part, we're going to talk about flipbooks inside of materials. And we're going to learn how to use the flipbook texture sample to easily import flipbooks. However, we're also going to learn how to create the math manually inside of our material. This is going to allow us to give us a lot more control and fidelity in case we wanted to open up a parameter to be able to control this through matinee or kismet or something like that. The third part uh, covers entirely on bink materials. So we're going to be able to import real video footage inside of UDK and use that. In this case, we're using our 3D Motive intro logo. The fourth part covers mass materials, and we're going to learn how to use opacity masks to be able to model in some details for things like fences, or in this example here, we're going to use a tethered cloth. So it appears that the edges here have been modeled in to look very tethered, but if we go into the wireframe mode, we can see that this mesh is whole. And for the last part, and for kind of the star and gem of this series, we're going to be talking about animated billboard materials. And in this case, we're using the material editor a little bit like a compositing program. And we have different layers happening here and some different really cool effects happening. And we're going to break it down with, you know, different sine waves and lerps and uh, panners to be able to do this stuff. So we're going to learn a lot of really cool stuff. We're assuming that you have some basic knowledge inside of UDK, and hopefully you're joining us from the first series on materials in UDK here on 3D Motive. And hopefully you have some uh, experience in an image editing program like Photoshop. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started.